For 300 years, archaeologists have been digging up strange 12 sided metal objects across Europe, but they have no idea what they were for. These objects are called Roman dodecahedra because they are mostly found in the regions that were once part of the Roman Empire. They are made of copper alloy and they have a hollow center with a hole on each of the 12 pentagonal faces. They vary in size from 4 to 11 centimeters and they have different designs and decorations on the edges and corners. Some of them have knobs, some have loops and some have spikes. But none of them have any inscriptions, numbers or symbols that could tell us their purpose or meaning. The first Roman dodecahedron was found in 1739 in France and since then, more than 100 similar objects have been unearthed in Austria, Belgium, Germany, Hungary, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Switzerland and the United Kingdom. The most recent discovery was made in 2023 by amateur archaeologists in a farmer's field near the English village of Norton Disney. They were expecting to find some Roman pottery but instead, they stumbled upon a large lump of metal that turned out to be a well-preserved dodecahedron. They were amazed by their find and they contacted the National Civil War Centre Newark Museum in Nottinghamshire where the object is currently on display. The museum plans to conduct some tests on the dodecahedron such as scanning the surface for signs of use and wear and using a technique called X-ray fluorescence to confirm how the metal was forged. The dodecahedron will then be transferred to another local museum for further study. The Norton Disney dodecahedron is especially interesting because it is the first one to be found in this region of England. Most of the dodecahedra have been found in northern Italy, France, Belgium, Germany and the southern Netherlands, a region that the Romans called Gaul. This suggests that the dodecahedra was somehow related to the culture and history of this area. In fact, some scholars believe that the dodecahedra were a symbol of the cosmos, the universe as a whole, and the smallest part, the atom. This idea is based on the fact that the dodecahedron is one of the five platonic solids, the geometric shapes that the ancient Greeks and Romans considered to be the building blocks of nature. The other four are the tetrahedron, the cube, the octahedron and the icosahedron. Each of these shapes represented one of the four elements, fire, earth, air and water. The dodecahedron, however, was different. It was the fifth element, the quintessence, the essence of everything. The Greek philosopher Plato wrote that the dodecahedron was used for arranging the constellations on the whole heaven. The Roman writer Plutarch also praised the dodecahedron as the most comprehensive of all figures, which contains within itself all the others. If the dodecahedra were indeed a representation of the cosmos, then they might have had a religious or ritual significance for the ancient people who made and used them. This is supported by the fact that some dodecahedra have been found in association with other religious artifacts such as statues of gods and goddesses, altars, temples and shrines. For example, in 1989, archaeologists found a bronze figure of the Roman god Mars Thinxus, the protector of trade and commerce, at a site near where the Norton Disney dodecahedron was unearthed. But these are just speculations. There is no definitive evidence that the dodecahedra were used for any religious or cosmic purpose. In fact, there is no definitive evidence that the dodecahedra were used for anything at all. Over the years, researchers have proposed more than 50 different theories about the function of the dodecahedra, ranging from the plausible to the absurd. Some of these theories are the dodecahedra were weapons such as the head of a mace, a metal bullet or a caltrop, a device with spikes that was thrown on the ground to injure the enemy's feet or horse's hooves. However, this theory is unlikely because the dodecahedra are too light and fragile to be effective weapons and they show no signs of damage or wear from combat. Others propose that the dodecahedra were measuring devices such as surveying instruments, gauges, rulers, or protractors. However, this theory is also doubtful because the dodecahedra have no markings or scales that would indicate that they were mathematical instruments, and they are not precise or consistent enough to be accurate. Another theory is that the dodecahedra were toys such as dice, puzzles or spinning tops. They could have been used for games, entertainment or education. However, this theory is also questionable because the dodecahedra are too heavy and complex to be fun or easy to play with and they have no obvious rules or goals. Scholars and amateurs have also posited that the artifacts may have been decorations such as candle holders, flower pots, or ornaments. Other theorists argue that the dodecahedra were instruments of cosmic power such as magic crystals, energy generators, or portals to other dimensions. They could have been used to harness the forces of nature, manipulate reality, or travel through time and space. However, this theory is obviously fanciful and has no basis in science or history. 
As you can see, none of these theories can fully explain the mystery of the Roman dodecahedra. They remain one of the most enigmatic and intriguing artifacts ever found by archaeologists and they continue to fascinate and puzzle us today. What do you think they were for? Do you have your own theory? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.